Hi, everyone. There are two types of writer, producer, director, actors in this world. The first type contains individuals such as Orson Welles, Charlie Chaplin, and Clint Eastwood, who knock out some high-quality content fairly consistently over a long, illustrious career. Then there's others, like Tommy Wiseau, Neil Breen, and the iconic Ed Wood, who repeatedly churn out at-best subpar films that are known for being generally horrifically bad and incompetently made. So, tuning into the horror film Benny Loves You, I was concerned the latter would be the case, as not only did Carl Holt write, direct, produce, and star in the film, but he also did the score, editing, and visual effects. What the fuck is Benny Loves You? Well, it is a film starring this little bear here. Now, it took us five years to make this film. It was shot by myself, the guy holding the iPhone there, John, and my mum came down to help. So there was a crew of like three of us, and at the weekend we got more friends in and paid some makeup artists to come in. Uh, but it took a couple of months to film it, and it's taken me four years out in the shed at the back of the garden to finish all the effects and stuff. I was prepared to be bemused at best, anticipating special effects similar to those from low-budget 50s monster flicks. And to say the least, I was blown away. Benny Loves You is a 2019 horror comedy about the serial killer-like tendencies of a small stuffed animal brought on after his owner throws him away. The film is based on a short film entitled Eddie Loves You from 2006. You can run. You can hide. But you can't escape. Eddie's love. The big difference between the short and the film is that an Elmo plush was used in the original concept, and the final product is more of a bear-rabbit-dog hybrid. Filming for Benny Loves You began in 2014. It took only months to complete filming, but years to add special effects, edit, and sound design the film. This was all done by Carl Holt, which is wildly impressive. The effects are not shabby at all and are even better than many modern-day high-budget television shows and films. The movie is an absolute ride, and when my roommate and I watched it together, we were cringing from gross-out sequences as well as cheering on both the hero and the villain. This truly is a movie where you really don't mind who comes out on top. I am now going to briefly discuss the plot of the movie. There will be spoilers ahead. Benny Loves You opens with a problematic little girl getting a new toy and discarding her old teddy bear in the trash. That evening, when she's in bed, the teddy comes to life, pulls her into the closet, and her mother later finds her there deceased and missing her eyes. After that killer intro, we are introduced to our main character, Jack. He is 35 years old and works at a toy design company. He lives in the house happily with two parents and his stuffed animals, including a unique little stuffed creature named Benny, who his mom gave to him to protect him from monsters in the closet as a child. Tragically, his parents horrifically die on his 35th birthday in two hilariously tragic freak accidents while preparing for his birthday celebrations. Months pass, and Jack has neglected the house. It seems he has no idea how to make payments or do any sort of adulting task, and the house is on the brink of foreclosure. Hoping for a promotion at his job, he ends up receiving a demotion to a lower and less paying position. Whilst his direct competition, Richard, wins Toy Designer of the Year with an incredible and intelligent multi-purpose robot toy. Jack finally decides to become an adult, and he gets himself a self-help CD to help him become cooler, and begins the process of selling the house with the help of his friend, and I think accountant, but I'm not actually sure, who's named David. Then, he decides to also get rid of all his stuffed animals, and puts them in boxes in the basement. This includes his favorite stuffed animal, Benny, who comes to life and horrifically decapitates all of the teddy bears and leaves their remains in the kitchen for Jack to find. Days later, Jack returns home to find his accountant David's head in his bed. He then realizes that Benny has come to life and has murdered him. Jack then witnesses Benny running over a cat with a lawnmower and tries to convince Benny to stop murdering and that they can live happily together in the household. Benny loves Jack so much that he tries to help out among the house, but fails hilariously at being a domestic stuffed animal. Jack begins using Benny to market a new toy line, using him as the prototype. It works very well and Jack begins to rise the ranks of the company, even sealing a new relationship with a co-worker. 
Out of anger, Richard throws away his robot toy. Benny murders everyone who enters the house and may interfere with Jack's happiness, and soon sets his goals on murdering Jack's new girlfriend Dawn out of jealousy. Dawn tells Jack about a doll that she had that her parents threw away when she was a kid. Then the doll murdered both her parents. Things especially go downhill when Benny murders Jack's boss's dog and Jack gets fired. Then Benny murders his boss as well, and finally he goes to Jack's work and murders a room full of workers. Jack, Don, and Richard lock Benny at work and rush to Jack's house, setting up creative booby traps to begin to take down Benny. Not only does Benny come to attack, but so does Don's childhood toy and Richard's robot, all in revenge for being thrown away. The movie is an incredibly fun romp to watch alongside friends, especially during the spooky season. The puppetry is very simple and aided by a creative and impressive use of CGI. I couldn't help but root for Benny during the film. I brought my own stuffed animals to the living room to watch alongside me and let them know I wouldn't throw them away to become cooler, as I will never be cooler. Also, I'm sure if I threw away my buddy doll, bad things would happen to me. The acting in this film is also top-notch. James Parsons as Ron was quite hilarious and gave me vibes of Bernie from Weekend at Bernie's. The two bumbling, recurring policemen characters bring a Python-esque sense of humor to this film. An absolute stellar piece of British comedy horror, not quite on par with classics like Shaun of the Dead, but definitely close, and unbelievably impressive. The film has picked up a few awards including Best Film at both Fright Fest and the San Sebastian Horror and Fantasy Film Festival. A food for thought as you watch the film. Is Benny alive and his own independent being, or is he just the psyche of Jack manifesting through his childhood toy? Anyways, Carl Holt is definitely the Orson Welles of killer plushy films. Benny Loves You is a perfect film to add to your spooky season watch list. I watched it for free on Tubi in Canada. In conclusion, give your stuffies all the love in the world, for if they are forgotten, they just might come and get you. I love you. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>